Joining me now is Liz Snyder from Hillside Garden Landscaping. And Liz, today you're going to be answering some home gardener questions. And Liz, we'll start off with our first question. Um, our viewer asks, I am rearranging an established perennial garden. Is it safe to transplant perennials right now? And do you have any suggestions? Um, summer is, is a fine time to do some transplanting. Ideally, you want to do that either in the spring when the plants come up and they're quite small, or in the fall when you've cut them back for the year and you're basically just transplanting roots. Um, but it, we do a fair number of uh, renovation projects on gardens this time of year, but there's just a few things to kind of remember. If you can, try to time it um, where you know that you're going to have a day that's coming up that's going to be cooler, maybe there's a little bit of moisture, you know, rain in the uh, morning or in the afternoon. If you do it right in the hot part of the day, you're going to have some plant wilting, you know, and the plant has made all, the, all of its foliage for the year at this point, um, so it has to support all that, and when you're transplanting it, that can be quite shocking. Um, if it's a spring blooming perennial that's already bloomed for the year, you can go ahead and cut that down and just leave a couple of inches and and just keep watering it for the next weeks, couple of weeks like normal, and it'll make new roots. Um, if it's something that hasn't flowered yet, like daylilies or black-eyed Susans that are coming up, you're going to have some floppiness there. So you want to make sure that you're watering it uh, at least probably every day, especially with the weather being as hot and dry as it has been. Um, but And you want to water either in the morning or in the evening when things are cool and really be soaking that. In some cases, you might have to do it twice a day. But it's, it's okay for the plant. It just, it's going to have a little stress this time. Okay, thanks for answering that question. Uh, let's jump into our next question. Uh, the spring bulbs in my garden are starting to look yellow and messy. Can I cut them back now? Now is a perfect time to be cutting back spring blooming um, bulbs. And the reason that you leave that foliage is that after that flowering period of daffodils or hyacinths or tulips or any of those sort of things, um, over the next couple of weeks, it needs to feed that bulb for next season. So the plant, even though the flower is still done, it's still taking up water and nutrients. So you want to leave those for a little bit. But once we get to the heat of summer, usually around late June or early July, they start to look really not so good. <laughs> they're yellow and they're floppy just kind of getting messy. Um, so now is a perfect time to be doing that. You can just gather it together, cut it off right at the base of that foliage, just neaten it up. Um, if you're looking to divide or transplant those bulbs in the fall, you may want to mark them, um, get a little, you know, wooden stick or a plant marker or even a stone, you know, and put it where those are because you're cutting them down it's to remind yourself next fall that that's where the clump is so you can dig it up. But now is a perfect time to be cutting those down and neatening up your garden from spring. Gotcha. Thank you so much, Liz, for all of your suggestions here. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Liz Snyder, your home gardener from Hillside Garden Landscaping. You can watch Home Gardener every week only on Around the Tears. For today's segment and to find out more, head to WBNG.com, click on Around the Tears, and select Home Gardener from the drop-down menu. And if you have any home gardening questions that you want answered, send them to homegardener at hillsidegl.com. 